Hey there, this is Alex Weingarten, and I'm an application engineer at Hawk Ridge Systems. Today I'll be walking through some helpful info about annotation balloons in SolidWorks. So let's begin. Annotation balloons are customizable labels used to visually identify different part or assembly components and associate them with other data sources like bill of material tables. You can find these in the annotation tab of the command manager or in the top menu under insert then annotation. Let's select balloon to add a individual balloon manually to the drawing view. And as you can see, you can change the shape of the label, the size, even customize it to show a quantity or custom property in the lower section. So really quick, I wanted to pause and just show some of those more detailed balloon text options besides the item number and quantity. You can see all the different types of standard options as well as custom properties that will directly link to the part or assembly file and update automatically. Alternatively, you can link notes directly with something called the flag note bank, which was introduced in 2016. As you can see here, I'm dragging standardized notes from the design library into the drawing sheet and if you use this numbered formatting option, you can double click the number and check this flag note bank option to customize specific components of a note. So that's really helpful for revisions when you're trying to call attention to some specific aspect and show it visually. Next, I'm going to show a simpler way to connect a note and an annotation balloon. So I'll minimize the task pane on the right, get some more space. And if I add my note, I'm making sure this note is in the view first. Um, so you can see the corners are solid. If I want to right click in that view to lock the view focus, it will guarantee that. Then I will add my new balloon make sure flag note bank is not checked and you can see I can move both independently however if I select them both and right click and hit group now they will be connected and associated together okay the last manual thing and might have noticed that this bleeder is linked to the face. Um, I can click and drag that endpoint and associate it with an edge, and you'll see it changes from a dot to an arrow. So just uh, another thing to be aware of to customize. So finally, I'm going to show the auto balloon option. So I'll delete these individual balloons I've created. And right back to the command manager, you'll see auto balloon. And you can see this automatically populates all the balloons in the view. We can adjust the layout so it's all in the same orientation, above or below, left or right. You can see the magnetic lines are automatically added to link those together, which you can manually adjust. Um, you can even do some of these more intricate circular square layouts and if you click and drag while this auto balloon property manager is still open you can adjust the spacing for all of them and you'll see you can adjust all of the leader attachments here to the faces or edges the balloon shape and sizing and custom properties like we discussed before and when you exit out of the property manager you can individually pinpoint those balloons to exactly where you want. And now I can even add an individual magnetic line to relink some of these auto balloons. So that'll do it for today. Hopefully 
found some helpful information there and leave some comments of any follow-up questions or things you'd like to see. Thanks.